This video is brought to you by cdkeyoffice.com, the best place for buying games, gift cards and software keys on a discount. Simply make an account, use the code FOXY for 20% off and enjoy your purchase. Follow the link in the description for more info. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we're talking about the best budget gaming PC that you can build yourself in 2021 for around $150. Now we all know that GPU prices are now over the moon, all due to inflation, the pandemic and cryptocurrency miners. I have made a lot of videos trying to combat this phenomenon and today is no different. Today I brought you this new idea that could help you enjoy your games at high FPS without breaking the bank, I mean, it's well under $200. Here's the whole concept behind this. The Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, inflation and the pandemic is just a means to an end. According to Warren Buffett, the money wizard, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general is just a bubble that is going to inevitably burst at any point. The government will have to stop printing money causing inflation at some point. And even if the government doesn't stop completely printing money out, causing inflation, your wages will rise up to correct this inflation, so it should be all good. Pandemic also has to be over at some point, but it's all in good time. Meanwhile, GPU prices are still high and gaming PCs are still expensive. So until everything gets fixed and everything corrects itself out, GPU prices and gaming PC prices will still be expensive, gaming PCs will still be inaccessible to a lot of people. This is why I decided to make this video to suggest that you guys use this gaming PC build idea that I brought you today as your budget gaming build that will help you, you know, satisfy your gaming needs until everything goes back to normal. And you can actually afford a high-end gaming PC without breaking the bank at, at that point. So the idea of getting a small form factor desktop and upgrading it with a graphics card is not new. It has been quite the rage for quite some years in the budget gaming PC building scene. But in my opinion, I think it's about time we go back to that brilliant idea. So the idea is to go on eBay or check with your friends and family, even your local computer stores and try to get your hands on a desktop PC with a good CPU and at least 8GB of RAM and a hard drive and a power supply that, it, that is at least rated for 300 watts. I went on eBay and I found this gem, a Dell Optiplex 3010. It's a small form factor desktop PC. It has 8GB of RAM and an i5-3470 and a 250GB hard drive. It looks good, looks clean and it says on the listing that it, this one has obviously been used. It also says that it has some cosmetic wear so obviously you cannot expect it to be perfect. All we need to make sure of right now is that the components work. The, the computer case could be swapped at any time so it doesn't really matter. This one has some cosmetic wear but it still looks decent so you know, we're not gonna have to change that. But obviously it works perfectly software wise and hardware wise. The seller has added the Wi-Fi adapter, a brand new Wi-Fi adapter. It also has an optical drive and an HDMI connector. A VGA cable and a power cable are included in the sale. I mean this is an absolute great deal coming in at $65 without counting for shipping money. Another benefit is that this PC actually comes with a free activated copy of Windows. So that is an expense that we got rid of. If your computer doesn't come with a free Windows version, then check out our today's video sponsor, cdkeyoffice.com. I mean, they sell they sell Windows copies and Microsoft Office copies for an absolute steal. So check them out in the description down below. Now, obviously, you'll have to keep in mind that small form factor desktops are really compact. I mean, the manufacturers basically try to put as much technology in a in a compact space, which will make adding a normal GPU, a normal size GPU, a literal hell. It is really going to be hard seeing that it won't fit in the case if you added it to the motherboard, unless you choose not to put on the side panel, or basically buy a small form factor GPU, which is what we're going to do today. So if you head to ebay.com and look for a GTX 750TR small form factor, the GTX 1050TR small form factor has not jumped in price, which is absolutely amazing. It is a perfect card for gaming, it could run basically most of the games at respectable frame rates and respectable settings. I mean, it would give you a similar experience to a PS3 or a PS4. As you can see, I went on eBay and I found this gem right here. For $100, GTX 750 Ti, 2GB GDDR5 memory. It says on the listing that it has been pulled out of an old system. It has not been used previously and it works according to the seller. It has not tested it, but looks like a great deal. Obviously when buying used cards you have to make sure that everything works correctly and you know be careful not to get scammed. You can also still find cheaper alternatives. I mean the point is to find a GPU that would actually fit in your computer and that would run most of the games that you want to play. In our case the i5-3470, the GTX 750 Ti and 8GB of RAM will absolutely run most of the games without 
most of the games that I would play on the daily basis without any problems. The only one thing is missing over here in this build which is an ssd for those first booting and loading times but that ssd add-on is basically optional so you can add it and you cannot add it it's basically your personal preference you can expect to get above 100 frames in games like csgo valorant and you can play games like gta 5 gta online red dead online red dead redemption on low settings 720p for a console like experience obviously csgo and valorant and GTA on high settings and obviously Red Dead Redemption on low settings 720p. This is my ultimate $165 gaming PC build for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video so you can help it reach as many people as possible and possibly help them out. Hit that subscribe button because I'm on my way to 5000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. And with that being said I will see you guys in the next video.